Rockbank closes off the middle road in Sainfield at the top end of the town, and this is number six in the cul-de-sac. That's within walking distance of the village centre, and at the end of the middle road, in fact, there's a supermarket. So plenty of facilities in Saintfield, and there's the White Horse Bar and Restaurant, uh, the attractive parish church in the centre of the town, plenty of cafes like this one, and then you've got more traditional shops like Jackson's and Massey's The Butchers, and then a relative newcomer in the Millbank Farm Shop. So there are electronic gates that take you into the front of the house, plenty of parking, so let's take a look inside. So we'll come in through the entrance hall. Straight ahead of you there is the kitchen living dining which is a big extended room but we'll come to that in a moment and first of all we'll take a look at this separate living room. So it's a, a well proportioned room and it's got this bow window at the front overlooking the front of the, the, the front of the house and now we'll turn and we'll come into this fabulous bit of space. It's kitchen, living, dining and it is very bright. Look at all the glass there. Look at all the windows. Um, and we're going to take a look at this room, take a bit of time, look at it from all four corners, and you'll see exactly what it offers. Now you can see the French doors just on the right-hand side there. They lead out onto the brick-paved patio. And we'll take a look at the garden a little bit later on. Uh, over in the living space there, you see the fireplace has a multi-fuel cast iron stove. You can see it there again now in the middle of the picture. And that would keep the place, this room, very warm in the winter months. So we're now going to come out again into the hall and into the corridor. There are two bedrooms on the ground floor. This is the first of them, bedroom four. And you can see it also has a wardrobe there in the corner. And then we'll just go into the adjacent room. This is the guest bedroom. And that is a very smart double bedroom. And then we'll just go across the corridor to the shower room. Now this services the downstairs bedroom, downstairs bedrooms, and also as a downstairs loo. And you can see the shower cubicle in the corner. So we're now coming to the study area, just an open space that has the uh, stairs going up onto the first floor. But before we go upstairs, we'll take a look quickly at the utility room. Um, and it has a back door there that takes you out the back as well. So we'll have a look up the stairs. Just turn left now into bedroom number two, the two bedrooms upstairs. This is the smallest one. And we we'll now turn back and look up the landing. And we'll turn right into the bathroom. Now this is a well kitted out bathroom. Um, it's got a bath. It's got a shower cubicle as well. Um, you can just nice corner shower cubicle there coming into view. And we will now have a look at the master bedroom. And it's got its big gable window at the end. There's the master bedroom. And it has this very useful walk-in wardrobe very well fitted walk-in wardrobe as well. So we'll now just go back down the landing and we'll take a look outside. Now, this is the pond with the waterfall in the background. It's a lovely garden at the back. There's also an attached garage to the property, which we haven't had a look at inside. Um, we're now just going to go down the brick path down the back along the dry stone wall. There's lawns nice flower beds and the big paved area at the back of the house with the patio. So we hope you've enjoyed the, the tour and if you'd like to book a viewing please give us a call on the telephone number on screen now.